my van. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, um, I'm so happy to be back in my van. Listen, I thought about this. I've been trying to analyze this for the past 24 hours. What in the world? Why? <laughs> Why do I miss my van so much? Well, it's my home. I know, but there's something else there. There's something that I couldn't put my finger on till now. And I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I like this small space. When I'm in a house, it's when I was at my daughter's house is way too big. And I honestly think that being in a other in, in, if I was in a, ugh, I can't even talk. If I was in a bricks and sticks, I, I would not be happy. Oh, I would not be happy at all. I have, after seven years, I have just settled in and this has become a part of me. <laughs> this nomad life is now a part of me. I don't, I would not be happy living in a bricks and sticks. I wouldn't. Now, I have thought about, I love Tucson so much. So I thought, well, maybe I'll look for a house sitting job because um, there are wealthy people here in Tucson and some of them, they want to be here for the winter, but then they want to go somewhere for the summer. Maybe back east, they have two homes and they need somebody to watch it. But I honestly, I don't think I'd be happy. I really don't. I would always want to be in my van. It's just, I think it's just become a part of me that I can touch, <laughs> I can stretch out across my van and touch. <laughs> Sleeping, I was I was telling my, my granddaughter about that. I said, so she asked me the same things you would ask me. So do you just sleep on the floor in your van? Well, I said, Yes, I just sleep on the floor. You always got to put that word just, in, inject that in there. But yes, I told her, yes, I just. I said, but it's very comfortable, okay? And I said, I slept on their couch, which really was comfortable. It was comfortable. And I could actually turn side to side because I'm not that big. It was a nice big couch. And I could, I could do the side to side thing, but... I told my granddaughter, I said, I think it's because I've got these bins here. I've got these bins here and I've got this dresser here. And so what happens is as it, it keeps me secure, like being in a womb sort of maybe, oh my gosh, maybe that's it. It reminds me of being, I'm in a little capsule. I'm, I dream of genie. <laughs> This is my, this is my, uh, bo my bottle. I'm a genie in a bottle. I'm a nomad in a bottle. Yeah. This is just my little pod. I would do well with the pod, but I like this because I can move it around. Okay. So I think when it all comes down to it, I think I've pinned, you know, I've hit the dart and I think I hit the bullseye. I am now used to and do better in a very small space. I've got everything figured out where to go, where everything goes. And it goes back. Everything's go back. I've got enough room to move around. Like I talk about a lot. I mean, I do talk about this a lot, but yeah, I've got it figured out. And this is my happy. Ooh, this is my happy space. And I love it. I love it. So uh, this is just to catch you up. What happened? I know that, um, the last I saw you, I was at my at my daughter's house, and my a grandson was running uh, circles around me. And um, yesterday, I, I think was that was on Sunday. Well, Monday, Sunday night, and Monday, I don't know. Things just got backed up on me. Um, I mean, my intestines got all messed up and backed up, and so that tends to make me just a little bit more tired and grumpy well then um the uh the the plane was gonna leave at to come back at around 9 30. 
Well, my daughter had a bunch of stuff to do, so she had to drop me off really early, which is cool. I could have taken an Uber also, but um, but that was cool. So she dropped me off, and I, she dropped me off around five thirty. So five thirty, six or seven thirty, eight thirty nine. So not on. So my stomach was messed up, and um, I don't do well. I mean, I I don't do well when my when my bowels get backed up. I know people don't want to hear it, but I know that you you all understand out there. Yeah, let's get real. And when you're a nomad, that's a big deal. Well, uh, so I went there early, but that meant I had to get up really early to get everything ready, get me ready. And uh, so I, and then <laughs> because there's daylight savings going on in, in Cincinnati, you know, it was still light out. Like, how are you going to sleep? You know, I'm in the living room. How am I going to sleep? Well, well, it, I, the answer is I didn't. And so I'm not only tired, but my stomach is messed up. Um... It was, woo, I was woozy. The plane taken, so the plane took off and then landed in Dallas. Well, Dallas airport, I fell in love with it when I, when I first uh, arrived there going to Cincinnati. But here in, um, I only had like 45 minutes and I was going to go back up in the air again. So I really didn't get any time to recover from the motion sickness. When I landed in Tucson, I was like, I couldn't have been more anxious to get off that plane. And, uh, and I did. And, uh, Tucson airport's real easy. It's not a huge airport, so it's pretty easy to maneuver. But, um, so I went to my daughter's here and, uh, got everything all unpacked so I could hand over her suitcase. She powered up all of my power stations for me and all of my lights. Oh yeah, she did all that while I was gone. So thank you, thank you for that. It felt good. And, uh, but I just felt, my, my head was still spinning. It felt like woozy, you know, like woozy. And it was just felt dizzy. So I looked online and I, um, it was a good price. And I went to my favorite hotel and I spent the night last night. I got 11 hours of sleep, no longer have my stomach issue. Okay. And I ate a good breakfast, went to the store. picked up a few things that I normally will need. I will need, you know, my chicken, things like that. A couple veggies and uh, I'm good to go. Yeah. Very, 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 very happy to be back. I'm going to go out walking in just a little bit. I'm at the park and I'm going to go walk. It's good weather right now. Oh my gosh, it's only going to get up to 70 degrees today. So I still can wear my turtlenecks. I noticed in a couple of days it's going to go up to 80. 
But I'm telling you, I think that the theme of the day for me is small spaces. I really love small spaces and I love, I love, I love the neatness of it. You know, some, some nomads don't have the same neatness. They are living in their, um, minivans, minivans, but they'll just set something down and you know, they, they, I think they just have a different personality. Maybe their, their personality is a little different. They can handle that. I, I never can handle disorganization. So in my little space, everything does have to be organized up, but yeah, I'm so happy to be back. And another thing too, is when you get out of routines, my daughter had most everything I needed, but it wasn't the same. You know, like, you know, I just have different tea stuff. I use like an oral rinse and she didn't have that. Or, um, or she did, I, I didn't tell her that I needed it, but she probably needs it up in her bathroom. Just little things. The last day, oh, I do want to tell you, the last, she was going to go, she goes, would well, you care if I go to the store? That way, because um, she doesn't get much of a chance to get out without, um, you know, uh, the little one. And uh, so I said, oh, yeah, go, go to the store. She goes, well, what do you need? And I thought, boy, I miss my chicken and avocado. Remember, I make that where I have a can of chicken and then I um, put into big chunks uh, the avocado. I put some ranch dressing, seasoning, and some... Um, uh, balsamic vinegar. She had this exact kind of balsamic vinegar. And I said, I want, I want a couple avocados and that chicken. She goes, oh, I have chicken. I'm like, oh my gosh. She had a big can of chicken. So when she got back, I made my chicken. And she goes, well, just make it all. She goes, because cause I want to try it. And oh my gosh. She said, oh my gosh, this is so good. So she loved it too. It's a quick and easy. You drain the chicken and then you put it in a bowl. Okay. You cut, you have the avocado, take the pit out and then I cut it into chunks and scoop it out. Like I said, she didn't have ranch dressing. She had mayo. And actually that was a big difference. Um, the ranch dressing is better. Okay. And, um, and then I put, she had the vinegar she was like, she was wild over it. Yeah. They're going to Disneyland next week with, with uh, my son-in-law's dad. And so she goes, this is going to be perfect for inside the hotel. It will be perfect. Um, because sometimes she just needs something quick without having to run to, you know, she's going to have the children there. Yeah. It's, it's a big deal flying there, <coughs> but, um, Yeah. So she loved it. I just wanted to let you know that. Yes. Um, it's a nomad recipe, but it's good for home too, you know, for something quick. And I told her I put, uh, sometimes I cut up uh, diced onions in there and some, and a little bit of cheese. And yeah. So what did I eat while I was there? She, oh, she had eggs. She, they did get the organic stuff. And so she made me eggs every morning. Mm, yummo. Yeah, it was really good. So let's see what else happened. Hmm. Oh, the two guys I, I on the plane from Dallas. Oh, on the plane from Cincy to Dallas, there were two guys beside me. They didn't they didn't there was not a peep out of them. They didn't speak at all. <laughs> I know it's kind of like yeah, that's OK. And um, I did have a couple of movies downloaded, but it kept like I had on um, airplane mode and it just kept like s s turning off the app, just kept turning off the app. It, yeah, it was really difficult. And um, then from Dallas to Tucson, there was an older couple, married couple, and they were kind of quiet. There was a child. There was a baby. Oh, my gosh. It looked like maybe nine months to a year, maybe. Oh, yeah. Um, well, he, he, had, he had a loud voice for a while. It didn't bother me because, you know, I'm a mom. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that he his head was feeling woozy, too, up on the plane. But everything went well. I'm glad I went. I'm glad I'm back, though. I'm more glad I'm back, actually. Yeah. And I almost felt like I was running out of... I, I wanted to do a, um, an episode 
for Monday, but no, was it, I think it was for Tuesday or whatever. And I was like, no way. There was no way. It wasn't going to happen. Um, I just wasn't inspired. I got to be in my van to be inspired. Okay. Got it. You got that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to go out and walk and I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. I love you guys. I missed you. <laughs> I missed, I missed my van life. I think this is a permanent thing for me. It is a permanent thing for me. I don't know, but it is. I think I'm still a little tired. <laughs> I am. Um, it's been six days, maybe seven since I've been to the gym. Haven't really walked much. So I gotta build back up again. I don't feel like pushing myself today. I feel a little tired still. I guess I'm still recovering. That's okay. Tomorrow I'll get up early, like usual, and I'll start working out at the gym again. But once you get out of the routine, even for a few days, okay. Thanks for watching everybody. Small spaces. Some people like them, some people might not. It's obvious, I do. <laughs> I do like small spaces to live in. And then, of course, I don't want to be in it all the time. I need to get out, and that's why I wanted to get out and walk. So, until tomorrow, everybody, uh, please subscribe. Look down below and see if you're just subscribed. And please, if you're not, hit that button. Yes, turn on notifications. And... Go to minivanlee.com. I still have sunglasses. I'm not sure if I'm going to take them with me to Flagstaff. So if you want them, now's the time. Summer's coming, you know. And uh, they're UV protected. What else? I got neck gaiters. And go on Amazon if you want the book. How to Live in a Minivan the Minivan Lee Way. Okay? 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 I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll be I'll be a little peppier, yeah? <laughs>